Zealots are now inside of his SCV line, trying to do much. Loses one Zealot and tries the other Zealot with his SCV. So not actually doing a pretty decent job of holding this off. He tr desperately trying to get that factory up. It's going to be very difficult for him. John Bimo has used this opportunity to put down a Nexus. So he's trying to get a full-on economic economic advantage. He also has his Cybernetic Screw going and a second gateway. I think even if Nada manages to uh, overall kill this early harassment, this early cheese of Jongbi's. Jongbi's going to be in such a good economic position. Not is going to be just overall very hard for him to beat this. Trying to get another scouting SV going, but overall a good job being done there by Not and Not and now killing his own bunker. Uh, uh, not feeling the need because he can. The way the buildings are positioned at this point, he can pretty much set up as needed. And of course, he needed that machine shop up there to killing that <laughs> barracks to get that machine shop going. And second gas not coming up from Jiang, so he's just fully taken up. Um, not getting range as of yet. I think his gas was a little bit late to to the tech route that you went. Another command sir, Meanwhile, now think being put down by Nara. No, I'm not quite sure what he's putting down up there, but I think that might actually be a factory. Now first Dragoon now out for Jiangmi, so Nara's gonna have to be <laughs> gonna be in serious trouble. Also range upgrade going up and gonna mine more gas now. Now the first Dragoon is gonna go out, it's gonna try to do something. There are four Marines in position to defend. I think that's gonna be enough to push that Dragoon back. And that barracks now producing more and Jiangmi might actually be trying to go in and break this with no bunker there. Those Marines have no defense. There are five four Marines, five Marines actually there. This factory meanwhile is spinning and I'm not seeing any tanks so far. Another Marine barely manages to escape with his life and first tech now is out so Nada is actually going to be able to hold this off. Also getting it has gotten his second factory out. Going to float his barracks away trying to get into a better position. Now has pushed Jiangmi back a little bit so but Jiangmi is always such a huge economic uh, advantage has two bases mining just full-on going down gonna be able to get a lot of troops and of course with that gateway still in position gonna be able to build dragoons and or zealots very close to Nada's base we're gonna give him a huge advantage M uh, mines I think mines are ready yeah, mines are ready now for those vultures so it's gonna prevent any push in from Jiangbi but overall just a huge huge positive position for Jiangbi at this point. I'm not really sure how Nada can come back in this game. He's so far behind. Robotics facility now coming up. Is We're going to see whether Jiangbi is going to try to finish this off with some Reaver harassment. Nada is still off one base. He's done a lot of economic damage has been done to him. His SCVs were forced to do a lot of different tasks that not mining. He lost quite a few SCVs. He lost some forces and overall just not a good position for Nada to be in. He's gonna have to do something crazy to try to go in. He's gonna have to do some insane economic harassment. He's gonna try to gonna have to break Jiang we have, although I don't think he's gonna have enough forces to do that. He has several Marines, has a couple three vultures, several three tanks as well, one zealot moving instantly gonna get killed. Apparently tried to do a mind drag or what and Nada now gonna move more north which is gonna allow him to take his own natural is that's definitely what he has to do at this point playing some mind trying to get a decent position for himself but overall is in such bad this is a perfect example of how you do a cheese but not an only cheese it was a perfect cheese there by Jiang we didn't get spotted until a little bit late so Nada although did manage to hold it off pretty well not gonna have to go actually now might be thinking of moving forward and trying to do some sort of damage has some vultures there in position Moving in a little bit late, just moving in with his tanks and marines instead. Gonna try to do a push, but I think there are plenty of dragoons in position for Jiangmi to actually put this back. He push this back. He has range. He has robotic support now coming up. I think his first shuttle is on the way. Tanks gonna engage those dragoons now. Dragoons ranging those tanks might almost take down a tank, not quite. I think not actually might need an SCV in position. Try to do this. There's vultures are moving in. Trying to plant as many mines as they can. Mines going off on those zealots. Overall, not too much zealots sacrificing their lives to the mines. Now again, Vulture's moving forward, trying to play as many mines as they can, block those Marines, tanks almost are moving out with some Marine support, but far too many Dragoons in position for Jiangbi, and with no Siege, that's going to be it, there's not going to be anything, and even if there was Siege, I think not a wooden Siege, because with that huge amount of Dragoons, they'd just be able to move in close and finish off those tanks. Observatory also now out, and the shuttle is now out for Jongbi. Is going to be able. He, he could just. If he doesn't have enough time for Zealot, he could just go for Zealot. Instead of going for Reavers, if he doesn't have time for Reavers, he could just go for Zealot bombs and completely crush this little forward force of Nautis. And as soon as that gets taken out, that's going to be it. Although I think he has Reaver on the way, and yep, Reaver is on the way, and I don't think he's actually going to. He's either going to take out this army, or instead he might actually go for some harassment, because if he. I think if he moves in towards. Not as base that's going to be, it's going to be able to kill everything. Actually, he might be thinking of engaging the army here. He's going to try to drop, not going to be able to do any drops. I'm not sure if he has any zealots inside. A zealot would be key, would be able possibly to do a mind drag. 
not going to be any Zealot Bombs, but a Mind Drag would be a very good idea. Engineering Bay now coming up. Four Jamies, several, a couple of Marines that are always alive in Siege, not ready for those tanks. Those tanks, not, not actually with the far less force that he has, actually trying to do a semi-contain here, trying to hold his forces off, trying to put up a bunker. That's not going to be too successful. And Dragoon's actually now moving with a Reaver dropping off. So close to those tanks. Not quite sure. I think that Reaver actually is yes, still alive. Those tanks are all going to get taken down. All these tanks now die. One single tank alive. Bunker. Almost no up. Not going to be up in time. And even if it was, not going to matter. GG coming from Nada. Dune from the start. As soon as he didn't spot that cheese. And uh, good cheese into economic build by Jang overall there. So Nada losing this time. So it's 1-1 one, one now, and both players are going to pull off the stop. Jang B surprised me a little bit with the cheese, but I think uh, Nada should be able to react pretty well with this. I don't think that killed his confidence too badly. Nada's just not the type of player to be shaken that badly. So, uh, GG, guys. Nice game by Jang B. Ranching out. Look forward to the third one soon.